ABC 10 News Pinpoint Weather Super 7-Day Forecast. All right, we've had a break for a couple of days, but yeah. by this time tomorrow, we may see some rain. That's essentially how it's going to go once again. We have a stretch of no rain, and then it hits us once again. We're just fortunate it's not happening during the weekend, but right now we're still enjoying some pretty mild weather all around. San Diego's at 60 degrees, very close to Del Mar at 57. Carlsbad and Oceanside at 58 degrees, still seeing plenty of low 60s inland with Escondido at 63. Poway sitting at 61 degrees in El Cajon right now at 64. Now moving forward, we're going to want some more gray conditions settle in. That's going to be primarily overnight, then into tomorrow morning. So in San Diego, as we see those low to mid 50s, we're going to want some low line cloud cover to begin to stick around in the early morning. Then for our inland neighborhoods, they're going to drop down into the low 50s, and then we're going to welcome a gray day. Then that's when we're going to see showers. So for tomorrow, we're going to be relatively cool. Our temperatures are ticking down just a little bit with both coastal and inland neighborhoods reaching into those mid 60s. The showers gradually building throughout the day. We're also going to see very windy conditions for the mountains in the deserts. Mountains hitting a high of just 55, deserts reaching up to 77. Now, the rain and cloud future guys shows what these are going to look like. Most of the showers, of course, coming early Monday afternoon. That's when the turtles are going to move the most, and they're sticking around until Tuesday morning. But by that point, they're going to be much lighter. So our rain totals in general are going to be pretty small, but most of this movement that you're seeing here, that's happening in between about 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. tomorrow. But taking a look around, most places are are expecting a quarter of an inch of rain or less in San Diego, certainly looking at potentially less than a tenth of an inch of rain and even in some mountain communities. We could see similar totals to what we're getting along the coastline. Now, in addition to that, for the mountains and the deserts, they're going to be more so noticing the wind. We have a wind advisory that starts up at 10 tomorrow night, goes until Tuesday at noon. The wind's peaking overnight tomorrow, reaching as fast as 50, even 50, uh, 55 miles per hour for some of those more wind prone areas throughout the mountains. So that about wraps it up for tomorrow. A little bit of rain mixed with some wind. And then next weekend, we're going to notice some more changes. So after a bit of calm for most of the work week. Then we are watching this storm system approach us and the difference is this one is going to be big and it is going to be cold. So we don't know much about totals um, to expect with next weekend's potential storm, but we know we're going to cool down. San Diego eventually dropping just into the 50s in the neighborhoods of 50s on tap as well by next weekend for the mountains. That could mean a little bit of snow snow level dripping down to just 3500 feet by the time we get to next Sunday and finally into the desert. They're noticing a little bit of rain like the rest of us and this next storm is even dropping them down into the 60s. So Nia, we don't have just one round of rainfall. We have two.